Welcome to Guns Gear Network here. I appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to discuss a budget friendly weapons light from Nightstick. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at what I consider a budget friendly uh, weapons mounted light and uh, this one's kind of in the middle. So it's not the cheapest lights out there, it is not the most expensive light, so it, it, it ranges in the middle. Uh, it is by Nightstick or their parent company is called Baco Products, but their line of lights is called Nightstick. and. Um, they, they do weapons mounted lights, they do flashlights, things like that. And what happened was I had gotten a, a new pistol back around Christmas and I wanted to set it up for self-defense uh, a self-defense type setup and I always recommend uh, it's it's mandatory for me personally that every weapon that I would personally possibly use in a self-defense situation now you could use any weapon that's handy but one that I'm going to purposely carry or put you know in my home strategically that's going to be used for self-defense I think it should have a uh, light on it and you want to make sure friend from foe kind of thing a lot of liability going on a lot of things that you don't want to injure a loved one possibly so you want to make sure that um, what you are shooting at or potentially shooting at you have a clear visual image of what it is and a light is mandatory and a good quality light so what it was I uh, did a lot of research on lights wanted to come up with something that I thought would work good for the channel and after much reviewing myself and reading and researching I came up with this company and I reached out to them to see if they wanted to sponsor a video and they did so some of those criteria that I look at is good value um, you know uh, good bang for your buck something budget friendly for you guys um, Anybody can go out here and get the most expensive lights and, and test them and show you and stuff like that, and they're two and three hundred dollars. I wanted to do something in the middle. As of today, uh, average retail for this light is about eighty-five dollars, somewhere around there. Depends on what vendor you're getting it from. Uh, it is currently on Amazon at eighty-two eighty-nine. Uh, along with the company information, I will have a link to my Amazon store. It'll all be there if you decide you want to buy it there, uh, so forth. But about eighty-two bucks. So the middle of the road higher end lights run start at about 150 60 bucks uh, the lower end starts at you know 25 30 35 40 dollars kind of thing the eBay type airsoft type stuff but still I would maybe put them on a fly on a uh, on a pistol um, but so if you wanted something kind of middle of the road so I found this company, reached out to them, they agreed to sponsor a video. Uh, I've done some testing myself with this. I really like it, and so we're going to discuss that. I'll go over some of the features and things uh, from their information they supply. So you're looking at Cree LED, uh, C-R-E-E, -E, that's one of the major uh, bulb suppliers and electronic suppliers for LED uh, products. Uh, Cree LED technology with about a 50,000 plus hour uh, LED life um, with it. That's LED life, the bulb life, not the battery life. So uh, ambidextrous toggle switch, uh, momentary or constant uh, on, uh, short focus beam uh, for distance and illumination. And I am reading some of this so I don't forget anything. Um, it is aircraft aluminum along with glass filled uh, nylon and I'll go over which one's which here in a minute. Uh, beam rated at 245 meters and it is IPX7 waterproof, impact and chemical resistant, uh, serialized for personal identification. Uh, it comes with uh, batteries and the batteries that are needed for this are the CR123 in each two of them and it does have a limited lifetime warranty on it. So part of the when I was researching, uh, a couple of people had some issues uh, with this, and you're going to have issues. I have issues with some of the major brands that I've had to reach out to them and get a new tail switch, things like that. So don't let that scare you. Uh, I've had issues with the, all the major brands, and you know the ones I'm talking about. Um, and like I said, they, they handled the warranty great, and so did this company. That's what impressed me. Uh, the person that uh, had mentioned it or a couple people that I saw, uh, they said they took care of the problem with no issue. Now, they might want a little documentation uh, about what uh, you bought and, you know, pictures or video or something of what you're talking about, and they took care of it. So what you're going to get is the light itself. It comes in a box uh, like this with all the information on it. And then you're going to get some little parts and pieces here and a quick start guide. So 
the uh, quick start guide, just a simple uh, little thing, got all the information. It's got your information about warranty uh, included in that. Uh, it's going to come with some mounting plates. There's three of them, so depending on your application, you may need to switch this out. Um, I don't remember which one came in it installed, but I did have to switch it for this M&P here. So this is the M&P 9. Um, it also, this same insert here, which is the P2, uh, works in my Glock, and it works in this, my Glock 17, by the way. So, this is a P1, P2, and P3 uh, mounting plates. It also comes with an Allen wrench to be able to allow you to switch it out, and it comes with an extra screw because this one is pretty small. Um, the uh, toggle area back in here and this door is uh, going to be the uh, nylon field uh, type uh, plastic that they speak about. Um, they, uh, it's a polymer. So it's kind of what the same, if you're wondering what this is on it, I've already dunk tested this thing a couple times so some water's coming out of it. Um, the housing itself is made of the aircraft grade aluminum. It has the mounting system that mounts on most any Picatinny style rail, uh, again with the mounting plates that you switch out. Um, it has the uh, a little slotted uh, adjustment uh, knob here, that's what you use. And I'm going to mount it, uh, show you how to mount it, and then we'll do a couple little tests here. And then I'll show you some night use. But you simply adjust it to where it'll fit, and I start on this side and kind of rock it over, and then I hold it like this, and then you would take your flathead screwdriver and uh, tighten it uh, down. Is right here. And like I said, that's large enough you could probably use some type of coin. So let's take a look at a couple other things real quick on it. So to change your battery that, do, that does come with the uh, flashlight, you get two of them. It's a Phillips head. And it is, the screw is captured so you're not going to lose it, and the door is hinged so you're not going to lose it. Uh, again, two of the uh, CR123, these are Energizer batteries, so they do uh, have a nice uh, pro as far as a brand. And um, you also, on the outside here, there, and on the other side, it shows you which way the batteries go. To do it, uh, to close it back, you just simply pull it in, kind of get a little pressure with your fingers to hold it in until you get it started and then you just simply screw it in. Do not over tighten. Uh, obviously you're dealing with aluminum and the screw is steel, uh, but you wanna make sure it's snug because this stuff is waterproof and that's gonna cause you some problems if you don't get it nice and snug. Uh, branding on the outside just gives the brand and the model number on both sides. Uh, gives a little warning on the bottom to tell you that it does get hot under use. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do the dunk test real quick and then uh, we'll do a weight. Uh, let's do a weight first. So you guys that may be fans of nothing fancy, sometimes weight matters. Doesn't really matter, you know, a whole lot to me really, to be honest with you. So, get my scales working. 4.76 ounces. Uh, on their website, it actually says 5.44 ounces. So just kind of give you an idea, roughly five ounces. Um, it is three and three quarters inch in length, 1.5 and 1.5 in thickness and in height. So let's take a look and uh, test the waterproof uh, portion of it. Uh, it is a, again, a toggle type uh, setup in the back uh, to turn it on permanently to a constant on, if, if both sides is a flip up. If you uh, want to do a momentary, you just simply push it down like that. Same thing on this side, push it up and push it down. These buttons are a little stiff compared to some of the other flashlights I've uh, had in the past or currently have. Uh, so just keep that in mind, they're a little stiffer than maybe what you're used to or think about. Um, but that's how that works. I'm gonna turn it on and then we're going to dunk it so IPX7, I think it's three meters for 30 minutes is the rating is what they uh, classify that as. I'm not going to do like a torture test with this thing, um, but I am going to do a little bit of testing uh, to check, make sure it's waterproof, that kind of thing. So while I've got it, I'm going to drop it at three feet. Uh, roughly is where I'm at here is about three feet. I'm going to drop it onto concrete, pull it up still works 
I'm going to dry it off. We'll mount it up and then I am going to do some outside. Uh, it's dark currently at uh, my house and we're going to go outside and do a little bit of uh, testing with it and show you what it looks like with that. Um, again, how you mount it and then simply screw this down so it's nice and snug. Again, not over tight. All right, guys, let's do uh, the outside portion and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so let's get into the uh, testing outside real quick. So if you look, it is, uh, I've got a little bit of light back here in this corner, and we'll pan around. Starts getting pretty dark all the way over here. And let's take a look at what it looks like. So this thing throws a really nice beam. It's probably one of the better beams I've seen out of all the lights I have, including my expensive ones, um, and definitely better than some of my cheap ones. So it has a nice concentrated beam, but a nice big spill out to the side that allows you to see really well. And so you might, the uh, reason I talk about having something like this, you uh, come out and you hear something bump in the night in your backyard, and oh, it's a zombie. So you never know, you gotta be prepared, guys. But uh, really nice, I'll show you up in these trees real quick. Really tall trees up there, and it does really well. So anyway, guys, uh, excellent, excellent light. Does great as far as uh, I can see basically almost a quarter of my yard. So. Anyway, guys, let's uh, finish up the uh, video on the inside uh, on the table and give you some ideas. Uh, uh, just wanted to give you some ideas of how it looked uh, with the actual usage. Thanks, guys. Well, there you go. I hope this was helpful. Um, I think if you are looking for a budget-friendly light that's good quality, uh, good warranties, uh, good customer service, uh, you'd be hard to beat the Nightstick line of products. Uh, the 850XL has definitely impressed me. Um, very glad to have it. Uh, I'm excited that uh, uh, they sent it over, and I want to thank those folks over there at Nightstick for sending it over for our review. Um, hopefully, in the future, I'll be looking at some more of their products, and uh, We'll see uh, how they do, but this right here has definitely impressed me. Great budget friendly, a uh, lot of weapons light, guys. So anyway, if you uh, got any questions, post those below. If uh, you got any experience with Nightstick and their products, uh, especially even the 850XL itself, be sure to uh, comment in the section below. Let us know your thoughts, your you know what your experience has been, and uh, so forth. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.